गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डू ई एम एफ ऑफ अ सेल ई एम एफ ऑफ अ सेल और ई सेल वॉट इज दिस ई एम एफ ऑफ अ सेल दिस अराइज ड्यू टू द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट अराइज ड्यू टू पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू इलेक्ट्रोड मीन्स द एनोड एंड कैथोड सो If I want to define this, what should I say? Due to difference in potential between the two electrodes, the current will flow from put from an electrode at higher potential to an electrode at lower potential. But then the EMF generated it is known as EMF of a cell or the E cell. Okay, and this all it is for a galvanic cell, right? So E cell, what do we write? E cell we write as oxidation potential of anode. Because it on uh, because it anode uh, oxidation occurs plus reduction potential of cathode reduction potential of cathode right we know what is the setup like in anode oxidation occurs so anode has excess of electrons right so anode is the electrode at lower potential and cathode has deficiency of electrons so cathode is the electrode at higher potential. that's why electron flows from anode to cathode and current flows in the opposite direction that is from cathode to anode right and then the potential that we get that is the emf of a cell right so we know as per modern convention oxidation potentials are represented in terms of reduction potentials so we can write by ch by changing the sign the sign will be opposite so e anode this is reduction potential plus e cathode this is also your reduction potential therefore i can write e cathode minus e anode is always the potential for cathode will be more than the potential for anode or i can write e right electrode minus e left because we have done this in the representation that the right compartment represents the cathodic compartment and the left one represents the anodic compartment so this is basically your emf of a cell that arises due to the potential difference between the two electrodes okay now we have standard hydrogen electrode standard hydrogen electrode standard hydrogen electrode that is she now what is standard hydrogen electrode when hydrogen gas at one bar pressure is adsorbed on platinum surface or platinum foil and comes in contact in contact with h plus ion of one molar concentration at 298 kelvin this setup is known as your standard hydrogen electrode okay now standard hydrogen electrode can act as cathode it can also act as anode so it is also known as reversible electrode it is known as reversible electrode now when it acts as anode what happens when it acts as anode oxidation will occur so this will be my reaction okay this is reaction at anode i mean when uh, sh he acts as anode and when it acts as cathode then obviously reduction will be happening sorry this one will be sorry sorry when it acts as anode it will be like this and when it acts as cathode the opposite reaction that is 2h positive plus 2e will give you h2 right so anode oxidation occurs cathode reduction occurs okay so this is basically the nature of the standard hydrogen electrode it is a reversible electrode now next one we have single electrode potential single electrode potential means single electrode potential now what is it in order to find the electrode potential values for a given electrode it is coupled with standard hydrogen electrode basically standard hydrogen electrode it acts as the reference electrode why reference electrode because it can act as both cathode and anode okay and its potential value its potential value is 0 volt right so it is basically used as a reference electrode and is coupled with a given electrode whose potential value i want to calculate 
that is basically your electrode i mean single electrode potential now what happened the single electrode potential term got modified to a more appropriate term that was known as your standard reduction potential standard reduction potential now why standard word we are using because here one electrode is coupled coupled with standard hydrogen electrode so hydrogen electrode is standard that is h2 gas at one bar pressure then h plus ion one molar concentration so the given electrode components need to also have everything in their standard states right so the single electrode potential term got modified to standard electrode potential so what is the meaning of standard electrode potential it means that components for the given half cell components for the given half cell for given half cell to be in their standard states standard states now standard states means temperature one uh, your 298 kelvin pressure will be 1 bar if it involves gaseous component and ionic concentration will be 1 molar this is that is your uh, single electrode potential got modified to this term okay but the meaning is same and it is represented as e not okay now significance of signs of e not what is the significance of this sign of standard electrode potential okay if e not or e0 is positive if e0 is positive then the given electrode that is coupled with standard hydrogen electrode that will be acting as cathode the given electrode acts as cathode acts as cathode that means she acts as anode if the if e0 value of the given electrode is positive if e0 value is negative then what happens that electrode will be acting as anode and hydrogen electrode will be acting as cathode for a spontaneous reaction when positive the given electrode acts as cathode and she acts as anode and when negative the given electrode acts as anode and she acts as cathode for a spontaneous reaction right so this is basically your significance of e0 and when i'm talking about standard electrode potential this is basically your standard reduction potential okay whatever potential we are going to speak they will be reduction potential only not oxidation potentials now what are the drawbacks of she the first drawback is that it is difficult to maintain hydrogen gas at one bar pressure for a long period of time then we are using there a platinum foil because hydrogen gas gets adsorbed on it on it so platinum foil gets readily poisoned so it is difficult to keep platinum foil for a long time poison free and the last one it is difficult to maintain h plus on concentration at one molar okay so this are the few limitations so we use a secondary reference electrode that is known as saturated calomel electrode saturated calomel electrode this is a secondary reference electrode that we can use and usually this is only used in the labs because its electrode potential value remains constant for a long period of time it doesn't change so we can use this as a secondary reference electrode other than sh okay now we have standard emf of a cell standard emf of a cell means this one e0 cell what is the standard emf means how can we define it standard emf of a cell it it represents that all the components for a given cell reaction or all the components in in the half cells they have to be in their standard states that means if it involves ions one molar concentration <coughs> if it has gas one bar pressure and temperature has to be 298 kelvin right so that represents your standard emf of a given cell e0 cell how do we write we know already e cell formula e cell formula is what e cathode minus e anode so obviously e0 cell will be the same thing except we have to put not sign so e0 cathode minus e0 anode or or uh, your e0 right electrode minus e0 left electrode this is what basically e0 cell represents now what is the indication of the sign of e0 cell if e0 cell is positive my reaction is spontaneous my reaction is spontaneous means your chemical energy will be getting converted to electrical energy that is current will be generated okay but if this e0 cell is negative it will be non spontaneous non spontaneous means your chemical energy will not be getting converted to electrical energy that is the meaning of non spontaneous reaction okay so these are the indication or the significance of the signs of e0 of a cell right 
Now, when I'm talking about galvanic cell, now this galvanic cell after some time it stops working. Now, why is it so? Because in galvanic cell, at the oxidation half cell, oxidation occurs and reduction half cell, reduction occurs. So, what happens? The concentration of concentration of ions in the oxidation half cell will be increasing. So, reduction potential, reduction potential of, of anode will increase because reduction potential is directly proportional to the concentration of the ions. If the concentration of the ion increases, reduction potential will also increase. Now, if we come to your reduction half cell, reduction half cell, what will happen? The concentration of ions decreases because they undergo the process of reduction. So decreases as a result the reduction potential of cathode will also decrease cathode decrease now a situation will come when the, re the reduction potential of both anode and cathode will become equal and at that point your e cell will be equals to zero then the cell will stop working that means when the potential of cathode and anode gets equal e cell or emf is equals to zero so the cell stops working. Let's see the plot. If I talk about the graphical plot, this is reduction potential. Uh, this is your time. This is time. Right. Now what happens? Reduction potential of cathode decreases. Reduction potential of anode increases. So at this particular point, at a particular point, at a particular point, here, E0, sorry, E anode equals to E cathode. So E cell will be equals to 0. So cell stops working. Okay, and... This one, this down, this will represent cathode because its potential decreases. And this represents anode because potential increases. So, uh, slowly, slowly, what do we see? The potential, that is EMF, slowly decreases. Because EMF is what? The difference between the potentials of cathode and anode. So, first the difference was this much, huge difference. So, slowly, slowly the difference, that is EMF is decreasing and then at a point, it is getting equal to zero when the cell stops working. So this is what the reason that the cell stops working after some time. Okay, because E cell comes, this E cell gets equal to zero. So that's it, class 12. Thank you.